y'all uh today is june 1st and i got a really late start today um today was my kids last day of school so i spent the whole morning with them i just got out uh, my wife is doing my dealer's route right now uh it is 9 45 so i have a uh, delivered order at 10 30 so i'm just gassing up right now uh, i did have to get gas so i'm at negative 56 dollars right now uh, as far as uh, my earnings today so um, I just want to give you all a quick update before we start um, so I know I was talking about uh, adding uh, a new piece of equipment to my van uh, I mentioned that a couple videos back uh, some of y'all was guessing what it is it's not e-trax so actually I don't need e-trax um, it's actually it was a backup camera a really nice one um, it had a monitor that goes uh, in the front and um, I, I, I wanted it because you know when I put my my uh, vehicle in reverse that's the only time the camera comes up so um, I, don't, I don't have a way to turn it on like just turn the camera on without backing up so I was gonna add that device because um, it was really good clarity HD had a big monitor big screen because my screen is really small you see my screen it's really small so um, you know a lot of times you're working by yourself and backing up you know you gonna have to back up quite a bit and it's nice to be able to see everything really good so uh, that unfortunately that camera didn't work out for me uh, I liked it because you know it you could you could use it for backing up but you could just turn it on too just to see you know somebody tailgating you make sure nobody behind you all that stuff so anyways uh, that didn't work out but all good I also want to update you guys on um, I have mentioned that you know I'm I have a new app that I signed up for already passed background already got cleared uh, and they said it could take up to 30 days before you could actually use the app so uh, it's been 30 day over 30 days and I reached out to them because I was trying to see what's going on and um, they basically said oh I'm sorry it's actually 60 days <laughs> it used to be 30 days 60 days so I do got to wait another month to get on this app uh, so I definitely will reveal it. I just want to try it out first make sure it's good to go um, And then I did apply for airspace as well another driver out here told me about it um, I haven't heard anything back, but I just applied like uh, a day or two ago um, And what else? All right, I can't remember it was something else I was gonna tell you I can't think of it now, but anyways, uh, so I'm about to hit it oh, I just turned on dispatch, so I don't know if it's been busy or not. I know um, I feel like ever since the update it just hasn't been right I did have a pretty busy day yesterday uh, but I'm noticing like I have to keep turning on my location and it keeps making me log in so I feel like it's it's not working right so I don't know uh, I, I thought it was my phone at first but uh, some other people were telling me they're having the same problem so uh, I don't know we'll see so other than that man I'm about to hit it hard and now that my kids are out of school it's summertime traffic should not be a problem i'm gonna be hitting it hard this summer uh definitely i'll be staying out longer than you know 12 o'clock one o'clock uh, i'm gonna try to make as much money as i can uh hopefully it's busy a lot of the uh ppg uh employees said that it gets really busy in the summertime so uh we'll see only time will tell so let's get it all right man i made it to uh pot belly and um <laughs> Believe it or not, this is going to be a, a record. I got another freight order. So I, I don't think I ever had two freights in one month. So I accepted it. Um, the pick It doesn't have a pickup time. So I don't know how that works. It just says delivered by today's date. So uh, it, it sent me like an alert. It said like, you, it said something about 15 minutes, but I didn't get to read what it says. So I don't know if I'm about to lose it or what, but I'm not giving up this delivered order for that. I think it's only paying like $30, but... It's not too far from where I'm at. So anyways, uh, we'll see if I can keep it.
Man, bro, look at this joint. This is by far my biggest order. I ain't never had this much food. Use all my bags, ice, drinks, everything. So, let me go get this to him for the food get cold. All right, man, I'm here. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to record much because I'm kind of in a hurry. So, I talked to Freight about the uh, my delivery. I was under the impression I had to the end of the day, but they said you got two hours to pick up and drop off from the time you accept it. So. It's been about an hour, so I'll definitely I gotta get over there. So uh, they're about to take it away from me. So I'm about to drop this off and head on out. Man, got them jokers delivered, man. These guys. I get there, everything going smooth. I call the lady. She's like, "Oh yeah, just come through the front door. We'll tell you where to go." Cool. You saw all that stuff I had. I had to make like three trips with the dolly. Bring the stuff in there. They don't know where to put it. I'm in the lobby. I'm setting stuff on the floor, going back out to my van, getting more stuff. Get there, everything in there. I gotta set everything down in the lobby. Wait, oh, it might be about 10 minutes we can figure out where we're gonna put this. I was like, I almost, I'm really trying to keep my good standing with delivered and my ratings high, but I almost left. I was about to say, you know what? I didn't deliver, it's in here, it's in the building. I gotta go, like I ain't got time for this. But uh, the only thing that kept me from doing that is it's freight, which, and it's only $30. So I don't mind missing out on $30 if they take it from me. Um, so anyways, I'm trying to race over to pick, I think it's four tires I'm picking up. And um, yeah, man, if it, if it was like a high paying order, like $70, $80 order, I would've just, I'll just take that bad rate. I'll take that one two star and just have to uh, deal with it, you know? Anyways, let me go get these tires. All right, man, so I'm about, probably about 12 minutes out for the freight order. I'm going to be on freight bad side. I really don't care because I hardly get orders from them anyway. So I'm going to pick up the tires. And then I just accepted a high-paying dispatch order. And uh, the pickup is pretty close, not too far. Probably about another 10 minutes away from the tire place. So I'm going to pick up the tires and my order with dispatch. Drop off the tires and then drop off the dispatch order. So it is taking me out of out of town. Uh, I gotta go to uh, Kerrville, which is about 45 minute drive. So uh, I'll be out of town for a little bit. I probably won't be back till about 2, 2.30, maybe even three. But uh, yeah, I'm, just, I'm gonna have to do that. The, the drop off, they just gonna have to wait for those tires because, uh, and if, if I get a bad rating with freight, I really don't care because they don't give me the orders anyways. Oh yeah, one more thing. Uh, I was gonna tell y'all, man, I think Dispatch app, man, it's messing up because like this is what my order look like. It doesn't say what I'm picking up. There's no details. It's just the order number and where I'm going. And it'll navigate me there, but it's nothing there. Like it just don't look right. So I don't know what's going on with it, but uh, as long as I get paid, that's all I care about. All right, man, pulling up to this joint. Been here before. I'm gonna pick these up and they're gonna have to ride with me to my dispatch pickup. That's just how it's gonna have to be. All right, man, I'm loaded up. Got the uh, four tires. I tied them up right at the behind my seat. So I got plenty of cargo space. Hopefully everything will fit from uh, my electronic place. But um, yeah, the app is tripping, man. It won't even let me like put arrived or not, like nothing's showing up on the drop down. So I gotta, I'm gonna let uh, customer support know. I'm not gonna let them know now because I don't feel like texting and all that stuff. I wish you could just call somebody, but uh, I'm gonna, write my times down and give it to them manually uh, because I can't even uh, put that I arrived or nothing. There's nothing on the screen. So uh, anyways, um, man, all I can say, I don't want to say too much, but all I can say is there's people out there that will not help you and don't want to help you, but there's people out there that want to help you. 
And like all it takes is talking. Just open your mouth. You know, you never know. You start talking to people and man, like I'm excited, bro. Like I ain't gonna say too much. All I know is there's people out there that wanna help you. They wanna they wanna help you. That's all I can say. So keep talking to people. That's all you gotta do. Keep talking to everybody. Any and everybody. Everywhere you go. Alright man. Well, it's just one of them days today, man. Ain't nothing going right. So I'm at uh I end up chatting with dispatch and I had to they had to unassign me and then reassign it and I had to force close the app like three times and it finally popped up. So I don't know what's going on, man. And then I get to my pickup here and they loading one truck right there and then somebody parked somebody parked in the other uh, I don't know if you can see I don't know if you can see but it's another car parked at the other dock so ah oh, man one of them days but it's all good I ain't complaining man All right, man, I'm loaded down. Uh, it's just two TVs and two uh, look like wall mounts. So uh, that drive is gonna be about a 45 minute drive. So I'm trying to race to drop these tires off. I'm about 15 minutes out and then I'll be headed out. So I don't know, man, uh, it's 12 o'clock right now. So I probably won't be back for quite some time. So I don't know if I'll get any more orders. Uh, most of the orders kind of slow down like around 12, 30, one o'clock. Uh, very few orders come out so we'll see but I'll definitely make my quota today so I'm good hey sir sir uh, this has got four tires you want me to put them over there or Okay, you want the paperwork or leave it over there? Uh, okay. I'll go there. All right, I got that dropped off. Uh, they is busy up in there, man. I actually, I sped up the, uh, when I was inside, I waited almost five minutes, man. It was both, uh, the guys was on, I hate that. They both on the phone. They see me standing there. And they, they, I mean, you could tell I'm trying to deliver something, but finally he looked up and put his hand out. I gave him the paper. I started to just put it on the counter, but I don't like doing that. So anyways, uh, they busy up in there. So I got that unloaded and one of the customers in there started singing. I said, I don't know if I got him on film or not, or if you could hear him, but uh, he was singing too. He was like, he had a little harmony, little, uh, I heard it. But anyways, uh, this is gonna be about an hour drive uh, from where I'm at. It was 45 minutes, about an hour now from where I'm at. So uh, I don't know, man, this might be my last stop. It probably is gonna be, because like I said, by the time I get back in town, I'm not gonna get no order, so. We're gonna call it a day. We'll tally up the numbers and uh, pick it up tomorrow. All right, man, I'm getting close. Uh, it was about an hour drive, smooth sailing though, no issues. Uh, so Freight said that uh, I was 45 minutes late to my drop off. So I don't know what the uh, what that means or what's that, what that, uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know, man, I feel like uh, 
as an independent contractor, I, I never like studied this stuff. I'm new to this, so my understanding, well actually, so Grubhub, I know they kind of causing some issues because I saw a video on YouTube. Uh, this guy was showing how, you know, Grubhub is letting drivers go saying that, you know, they're falling below acceptance rate or whatever. And uh, I guess they could legally do that, you know, because technically, you know, you're as an independent contractor, you don't have to accept orders, but they're terminating people. And the verbiage that they use is not in their terms and conditions. Like that verbiage is like kind of made up. So I don't know what that's about. And um, I could be wrong. I don't know. I know uh, my man, uh, Gig Geezer, I know he good at, you know, figuring that stuff out and actually reading the terms and contract because, you know, nobody does. We don't read that stuff. Um, but I just feel like Dispatch, GoShare, all these different apps that we're using uh we should be free to work when we want which that is the case accept or deny what you want but even like i could be wrong but i feel like even the pickup and drop off time like when you're saying i have to pick it up at this time and i have to drop it off at this time uh for a customer to do that they need to pay more like the pay need to be double you know if it's a 60 dollar order but you say, hey, I, can you pick it up at this time and drop it off at this time? They need to double that. It need to be 120 because I'm missing out on other orders because of that. So, you know, I know uh, Dispatch, they actually sent me an email where you could do uh, like surveys and stuff and kind of give recommendations. Um, but I don't see why they can't let these customers know that, hey, these guys are independent contractors. They driving their own vehicles. Uh, they'll They'll pick it up today and they'll drop it off today. That's the best we could do. Uh, if you don't like that, go pick it up yourself. You know, like, I feel like when you lock us in the times, man, you messing with my money. You messing with my time and my money. So, I don't know. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I, that's just how I feel. But, anyways, uh, I should be here shortly, man. And uh, this is probably going to be my last order. It's uh, it's 1.30. So, I probably won't be back till about almost 3 o'clock. Uh, just bring them right in here? Yep. Okay. Dolly or just carry him? Yeah, we can carry him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tank left, 
So I'll be able to work tomorrow. So this will be a net profit. Um, I did get $56 worth of gas this morning. So my total was $212 minus the $56 with gas. But I got that dealer's route today. So that's going to put another $50 back in my account. So I made about uh, $206 today. Like I said, I don't need $200 a day. So reached my goal. Um, I don't think I'm going to get any orders. Most of the orders that come out now will be for next day. So I always keep the app on just in case. Um, I did accept a Dolly order and it's two weeks from now. So this is a apartment move and it's a studio apartment. And I saw pictures of it. They, the customer put pictures and it's like, everything's boxed up. Uh, it's like two beds, a desk, unless they're lying. So I might get there and it might be a whole, you know, more stuff, but, um, it's paying 159 and it's a short move. Like it's not a, a long drive. I think it's like a three miles, three miles away. So uh, you may, I may have to make like two or three trips, but hopefully uh, my helper, if he's got a big enough vehicle, truck or something, uh, we can take more stuff. So I did accept that order, but it's two weeks from now. So uh, other than that, I just want to end with, um, about what I said earlier about people that want to help you. I'm not talking about customers. I'm talking about, so honestly, just me wearing this shirt, my business shirt, uh, I've had at least five people, whether like I could be in a store or at the gas station, whatever. I've had people ask me about my business and they're not customers. These are people that can get me work. So. Um, talking, networking, wear your company shirt. You just never know who's out here that can, that can help you. So anyways, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, y'all have a good one and I will catch y'all on the next one.